And today at Tyne Castle, Hearts against Motherwell. John McGlynn went with the Hearts team which lost 1-0 at Celtic Park last time out. Keeper Jamie McDonald having recovered from the head knock he suffered a fortnight back. Motherwell's first match in three weeks saw them without suspended Adam Cummins. Fraser Kerr came in at right back and Simon Ramsden moved to centre back. Paul Mitchell was at the match. Motherwell moving forward. Jamie Murphy cuts inside to O, gets the shot away, that's touched behind. Well, it's an early corner for Motherwell. Hamill on to Murphy, scored in only one match this season. Shaping up early. Andy Webster. It's a good run by Darren Barr. Good control too by Darren Barr. Pulls it back on to Andy Driver. Curling shot from Andy Driver. Good play. Great takedown by Darren Barr. Realised the shot wasn't on for himself. Fed Andy Driver. Shout for handball. The answer's referee Willie Collum. Brian Stevenson. On to Danny Granger, they're sitting off Danny Granger! And Motherwell have been punished with a stunning strike for the Hawks fullback. 14 minutes gone, and Danny Granger fires Hearts into the lead. A stunning, unstoppable strike. Darren Randolph with no chance. And Hearts take the lead. And John McGlynn is delighted. Motherwell with a good recent record at Tyne Castle are behind. Here comes Humphrey. Low ball across, that's on to Lasley. Michael Higdon was calling for it in the middle. Humphrey just taking Granger out of the play. And Lasley, it was the second touch off the leg that didn't help. Stevie Hamill. It's players to come short. Zan Lucas with a header away. Strong. Show for handball. Leon says the referee. And the shot curled in again by Jamie Murphy. Higdon set up his strike partner. And Jamie McDonald was there. Motherwell building again. Again, they're trying to find Chris Humphrey. Danny Granger needs some help. He gets up from Novakovas. Well, Novakovas forced Humphrey inside that time. It's another good angle ball from Motherwell. They're using Chris Humphrey as the out man. But he was forced inside from Novakovas and just wide of Jamie McDonald's goal. Getting plenty of possession again, Motherwell. Driving on. Higdon sends it out wide. More space for Humphrey. Humphrey, little dick ball in. Headed away by Webster. Back in again by Lasley. Webster was heavy on the challenge with Higdon, who appeals. Referee Willie Collum shakes his head. Andy Webster comes right through and over the top. And Motherwell had a good shout for a penalty. Nicky Law plays that ball so well. On to Humphrey, Granger sitting off him. Humphrey inside, on to Hickton. Good effort from Michael Hickton, no goals in his last two. Where to get on the score sheet here again, Motherwell using Humphrey as the out ball and Hickton. Well, it was going wide all the way. Zan Lucas on to Tao. Bar making a run, but it's gone out wide. To Stevenson, Patterson's close by. Ryan Stevenson cuts inside. Well, we've already seen one stunning strike this afternoon at Tyne Castle. Ryan Stevenson trying to emulate Danny Granger, just curls away. Asley Humphrey Murphy. Granger, he's got the man right on his shoulder. He's dispossessed. Humphrey does well. Michael Hagdon. But well, Hearts got in their own problems that time. Danny Granger had to be aware of just how quick Chris Humphrey is. And Michael Higdon too straight with a shot. Rangers corner, Sutton went up, it's headed away by Ramsden. In by driver, Sutton! Well, he scored five times for Motherwell against Hearts. Bringing into net for Hearts today, and that's just wide. Motherwell still pushing for the equaliser. Hately goes down. Play on. Again wide. On to Humphrey. Hanging up. Hickton is there. Nicky Law comes in. It's off the line from Andy Webster. Cleared by Driver. 
Well, Andy Webster pulled off onto the line, read the danger. It's a lovely flick into the path of John Sutton. Good block. Hearts come again. There's Callum Patterson on the angle. Up and over. It was a chance for the second. John Sutton denied. Callum Patterson made himself available. Flashed this one off target. A happy end for Hearts to another difficult week when the cash didn't flow seemingly too quickly. Is it difficult, Willie, to know where Hearts are going to end up at the end of the season? What to expect from them? Well, it probably is. Uh, you know, they're in a financial situation that's unusual for them. Uh, they've had to cut their squad. Um, they're still having problems with the payment of wages. It doesn't seem to be affecting the, the, the team spirit, but obviously the squad is much smaller than what it was in the past. So I think that there still are questions for Hearts to answer this season. Back-to-back -back defeats for Motherwell. Any cause for alarm, Chris, for them? I don't think so. I think Motherwell's squad is, is strong. They've got some good players and uh, I think they, could, they can bounce back from that. It was a quality strike, Willie, wasn't it, that won the game? It was, yeah, it was a fantastic strike. Uh, you know, defenders, they've got to make their mind up whether they close someone with the quality of uh, Granger uh, down. Do you, do you fault Motherwell then for not reacting quicker to that? I, I, I suppose with hindsight you can, uh, you know, but at the time you're probably hoping as a defender that at that sort of a range as you're going to put it into the top corner. There's always a possibility and he does have his, a history of uh, striking them well from outside the box uh, and perhaps the defenders just made the wrong decision just you know to, to uh, sit back and not close them down early enough. You know well Chris of course as a former teammate at St Johnston of uh, his ability with, with long range hitting. Oh definitely, he's a, he's a great left foot, uh, strikes the ball really well uh, as you can see here. This was the right peg? Yeah, on the old swinger in here, he cuts inside and he strikes it really well and gives the goalkeeper no chance there. And he just has this ability, doesn't he, like here, to put the ball into a, a, a great area. And, well, Alan McGregor, I think, won't, won't forget this one in a hurry oh, against, it was, against Rangers. It was a fantastic strike, you know, and uh, they put his one up in that game, they don't lose it 2-1, but, you know, that's definitely one for Danny for uh, a collector's item there. I think Motherwell manager Stuart McCall um, reckoned that his team might have been worth a point. M many managers do think that at the end of a game. Should they have had a penalty? Uh, there was a lot of talk about this challenge from Andy Webster and Michael Higdon. Yeah, th th there's a big shout that goes up for it. Um, I'm not too sure what's in Higdon's mind here because uh, is he going to try to take it down in his chest? I think Andy Webster's got every right to go for that ball. Um, he he's up, he's well above Higdon, it's a powerful header. He's, he's made a good clearing header from it as well. I think it's good defending. I think he saw the opportunity. I think Higdon's uh, just kind of awaited on the ball. He's not really done anything. I think he's waiting to take it in his chest. And the Webster's just powered up above him. And, and I, for me, it's a great defensive header. Might it have been a free kick on the halfway line? I think anywhere else in the park, you're probably going to get a foul there. But in the box, I think for it to be a penalty, and I think it's got to be a bit more contact. He's made uh, good contact with the ball, so I thought the referee got that one right. Anyway, it wasn't given, and Hearts won by a goal to nil. Chris's St Johnston had plans to 